The Worksheet feature of the WPS Spreadsheet can perform several basic operations on the table. So now I'm going to show you the usage of Worksheet feature. 1. Insert Sheet. Click the Home tab, select Worksheet, then select Insert Sheet. Now we can set the number and position of the insert in the pop-up dialog box, or we can also click the plus sign in the bottom column of the table to add directly. 2. Delete Sheet. Click Delete Sheet to delete the current sheet. If we want to delete multiple sheets at once, just hold the Control key and select the sheet that we want to delete at the same time, then click Delete the Worksheet. 3. Duplicate Sheet. Click Duplicate Sheet to copy the worksheet, or just hold the Control key while dragging the worksheet. 4. Move Sheet. If we need to move the worksheet in the same workbook, we can directly drag the worksheet to a suitable position with the mouse. If we need to move worksheets between different workbooks, we select Move or Copy Worksheets. After the dialog box pops up, select the workbook we want to move to at To Workbook and select the needed worksheet at Before Sheet. If you want to copy, check Create a Copy. In this way, we can move and copy the current worksheet to another workbook. 5. Rename. Select Rename to rename the current worksheet, or we can also double-click the worksheet label to modify the name directly. 6. Protect Sheet. Click Protect Sheet, then we can check the permissions we want to open in the pop-up dialog box. Enter the password here and click OK. Then the sheet is now protected and cannot be edited. We can also click Unprotect Sheet to cancel the protection of the worksheet. 7. Tab Color. Click Worksheet Tab Color, choose a color we like, and set it as the color of the current worksheet tab. 8. Font Size. We can set the font size of the worksheet label in Font Size. 9. Hide and Unhide. Click Hide Sheet, then the current worksheet will be hidden. Click Unhide Sheet, then select the worksheet we want to restore in the pop-up dialog box, and click OK to unhide. 10. Split Sheet Take this salary table as an example. The current worksheet contains the salary details of all departments of the company. But how can we output different worksheets by different departments? Click Split Worksheet, and select the first split mode. Check Has Title, select Department, and then select Different New Sheets. Now click OK to split the salary table into different worksheets by department. 11. Merge Sheet We just split the salary table into three worksheets, so how will we merge it again? Click Merge Sheets and select the first mode. In the pop-up dialog box, we can check the worksheets that need to be merged, or add other files to merge together. We can also specify which row to start to merge, and finally click to confirm. In this way, we can get a new workbook with data being merged successfully. You are also welcome to search for courses in our WPS Academy. Here you can learn more on how to protect and split sheets by watching related videos.